and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the dealer's curse which is something that is afflicted by probably most hobby cum dealers or hobbyist coin enthusiast cum dealers I bought some coins at auction apart from this one these were meant to go into my my collection however i've had the issue where i've recently bought the four coin 2002 set i've also bought the ss duro coin uh so the sovereign and unfortunately i have to sell i'm gonna have to make a choice over what to keep and what to sell because i don't have the liquidity to keep everything uh, and this is a game where I, I constantly have to feed the machine with new stock it's okay but i need to get money in the coffers so it's just one of those things before i do get into the wonderful coins i bought uh if you do like my content you know to support me right now you can do it by liking commenting and subscribing um yeah it's been a bit annoying to be honest because i'd love to keep a few coins and i just can't so this was bought for resale i got this for a good price you know there's maybe 40 to 50 pound in it for me got time for the american stuff nice coin it has issues it's from 1891 if it doesn't have issues i would have been paying a lot more that's for sure you know i've got no problem and i never will have a problem buying in coins that have a bit of wear and tear because the reality is not everyone can afford the top stuff very few people can afford the top stuff so i have no problem taking this type of thing on as long as i can get it in for the right price i think it's a nice coin I think it's a solid 400 pound coin there's that one this i wasn't going to bid on the shield sovereigns like my when i was bidding i was like i want american i want pre-33 on the books sovereigns fine but this came up an au 58 i thought it looked like an ms grade personally however i'm not a grader i end up paying about 420 on this so it wasn't meant to be for the collection i thought you know what I've, I've had a really really solid month let's buy something for me and again yeah too much has come in and i can't afford to keep everything so i've got to sell some stuff i still think this is an ms grade really nice luster it's a genuinely nice coin did i ever pay you know pre-pandemic i would have been paying three around the 350 plus grading mark and aiming for an ms coin at 420 i actually felt pretty good about paying it i thought i did okay it might be worth 450 to the right buyer again some people shun this they, they want the ms coins fortunately when you buy the ms coins you usually have to pay the ms prices and the prices have stretched over the uh, the last year or so i think it's because there's too much money in the system that's my own personal theory some people agree with it some people don't that's completely okay let's do an up close one actually i probably position this slightly badly on the light on this occasion tell me what you think do you think this is an au coin there's a lot of wear on the fields maybe that's why it got des designated this grade i thought the hairline was good genuinely thought it was a sweet little coin so yeah i was i was playing around there was other there was other shields and this one kind of took my attention the other shields went for more money uh, on the same grade i wasn't prepared to pay it and i i just i didn't want to pay more than the 420 mark I wasn't going to I wasn't prepared to pay the 450 to 500 pound after hammer. It it's it's okay for collectors, you know, but it's not okay for me. And this one So this is an MS61 1915 $10. This is the coin I bought for my collection. I sold one of these. It's probably a nicer one I sold, but it was a less rare date. Or a more mintage date. I 
I've been hankering after one of these for a long time. I was actually bidding on the MS, there was some MS-62 St. Gordons, and I got pipped at the post on both of them, which I was pretty annoyed about. But these came up and I thought, hang on, there's value in these. So let's add one of these to the collection uh, for the long-term hold for the reserve. Like the, the collection these days, it does revolve, it does change. Um, I've got some coins I don't even keep on, on the books in terms of what I paid because I don't intend on selling them. Stuff like this, there's always a buyer for the right price. However, I want to build up a, a reserve of this type of coinage. I want to be in the middle of the road in terms of your collectible but the lower end of the scale. I, I call these coins aspirational coins. The reality is, for at an MS61, people can aspire to buy that. It's not an AU, but it, it's still a nice coin in its own right. At an MS64, 65, 66, it's, it, it's pricing more and more people out the market. That's okay. This coin's probably worth about 950. Oh, that's what I'll sell it at should someone want it. In terms of selling for less, obviously I paid less on it. You know, that's my job. But I'd rather hold it. I can see these coins gaining value over time. And I certainly hope I can add a few more over the next 18 months or so. I didn't even show this side. This is the better side. This side is beautiful. I'm really sorry about the light, guys. I'm not sure why it's being picked up on this video. This side's great. It's prob it probably would have graded slightly higher had this side been the same as this. This side, sorry, being the same as this side. But yeah, they're the three coins I bought from auction. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep them. I just don't think it's it's going to be possible. I've got too much coming in. I've got to feed the machine. I've just bought another three coins that set me back close to two grand. I've got another collection to buy. I owe out on other stuff. I've got stamps to buy, and I've potentially got more of these coming in via the auctioneer, uh, the ones that didn't sell. So I need to I need to get moving the coins and. That's okay. That is what it is. Great coins. Again, I've got no problem buying 58s or 60, 61s. You know, I think it's the sweet spot in terms of aspirational coins. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If anyone wants to buy some of this, you know, just drop me a line. It's, it's not a problem. I won't be giving it away, though. It'd, it'd be going for the right price. I've got plenty of other stock I can shift if... I do need to, to raise cash. This type of stuff you want to hold on to until the right buyer comes because you want someone to enjoy the actual coins. Uh, anyone can sell to a flipper. That's not a problem. So I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, you know to support me by now. You can do it by liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on the next one.